What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Mike's Tech Corner. Um, different, little different video. Not about tools so much. Um, one's about job site audio, and uh, I'm going to give an update on the, how the PC build is going. Uh, but first, I wanted to share with you the two little solutions I got here for job site or work van audio. Uh, first thing here is this. This is the Altec Lansing. It's called the Baby Boom. And it does not come spray painted orange like that. Uh, I did that because there's nowhere, there's no way to tell which way the speakers are facing. So I said, fuck it, I got mad and I just started spray painting it. And uh, it turned out pretty nice, I think. It does, it's, it serves its function. It's going to get dirty and, and knocked around. So I said, screw it, and I painted it. So this is, uh, this runs about 40 bucks. I was playing with one of these in Best Buy and I was pretty damn impressed by it. Um, for how little this thing is and how loud it gets, it's like, it's pretty, it's pretty impressive for the size. Um, I bought this hoping that I could listen to my own music in the work van, but the work van is like driving a, a damn barn down the road, and it's just so freaking loud with the ladders on top and all the shit rattling around. You can't hear this thing. It's not, it's not quite loud enough to enjoy while driving in the van. But on the job site, I clip it onto the scissor lift, my tool bag, my belt loop. Um, it fits in my shirt pocket. Um, you can answer phone calls on this, but I haven't had too much luck with other people hearing me. It does have a microphone in it somewhere, but um, it's got two little speakers in it. It lasts about five or six hours on a charge, and uh, I was really impressed with it. I, I freaking love this thing. The, Mil the big Milwaukee is probably not going to see as much action on the job sites. Um, uh, you know, This thing does it for me, uh, especially just sticking it in my shirt pocket. Uh, it's... Uh, it kicks ass. So because this wouldn't work in the van, I started looking on Amazon and I found this guy, um, new, new galaxy, whatever it is. It's like the number one thing that comes up when you type in, um, Bluetooth FM modulator. And what it does is your phone connects to this Bluetooth and then this broadcasts uh, a little tiny radio station um, on some shitty channel that, that doesn't have a radio station on it. Uh, you're for, probably familiar with those kind of devices. But um, all I can say is that this thing just works. It works awesome. It was like 15 20 bucks. Probably one of the best $15, $20 investments I've made in a long time. I'm really happy with it. Um, it even has an SD card, micro SD card, and it has uh, cable audio in if you don't have Bluetooth. But uh, this thing kicks ass. Uh, this is a volume button. Uh, you can skip songs. I know that works on so far everything I've tried it on. There's your channel adjustment. Real simple, and it just works. Also, it's not like you're really giving up a charging port because it does have a 5-volt, 2.1-amp USB output, which has been charging my phone just fine. Pretty pretty damn fast, just as fast as uh, my other, uh, you know, cell phone charger for the for the van so if you can't like you know rip the head unit out of the van or you got no way you got a you're stuck with a company vehicle radio um i highly recommend this it doesn't uh you know you can still charge your phone and listen to your jams going down the road it's definitely made my you know work vehicle driving experience a thousand times better so both of these things get gas this is good for the job and this is good for the ride into the job so the milwaukee radio might just be a home piece now. So here is here is the computer. All right, this is uh, the case. Uh, so far, I got three three or four pieces. I've got the case, which is an NZXT 340. As far as I can tell, this case has been out for a really long time. People are really happy with it. It's not super high end. It's not super fancy. It's just uh, well built, sturdy, and they make a couple different versions of it, but. Um, everybody seems to love it. There's not really any weird issues with it. Really good cable management. You can't tell, but behind this panel is a big old mess of wires. Uh, as you can see, I got my motherboard in here. This is an Asus ROG Strix Z370E Gaming Edition. Um, not the best motherboard, but it's perfect for what I need it for. Um, this supports 8th generation Intel chips. I won't tell you what chip I'm going to get yet, but... Um, uh, you know, I'll show that off when I get it, but this is uh, this is going to accept my CPU that I'm going to get. Um, it's got built-in Wi-Fi, USB 3.0, it's got HDMI's. Um, it's pretty standard, but it, uh, it, just, it just works. It's got two reinforced PCI slots, four uh, DDR4 RAM slots. It's got two, see I had to re-research re -research all computer hardware because every 
standard that I was familiar with was from like 10 or 15 years ago, and I don't know what the hell is going on now. So I found out about this, uh, these M.2 PCI slots, I think they're called PCI slots, on the motherboard, and they make M.2 uh, SSD solid state hard drives, and they're like, I'm going to have a 500 gig hard drive just sitting right in this spot, and then there's another one underneath this uh, heat sink here. So I'm going to get it to start, actually to start off with, I have an old 750 gig hard drive. That's going to be enough to get me up and running. Um, it's just an old, you know, magnetic style three and a half inch drive. But eventually I'm going to switch over the booting and everything to these, these onboard SSDs, these M.2s, and... Apparently that's like the best way to go for booting and, and commonly used programs. So my video editing and the uh, Microsoft Windows are going to go on those. And then these are two SSD, two and a half inch SSD slots. So without even using a, a traditional, um, without even using a traditional hard drive, I can have four SSDs and then get rid of the uh, three and a half inch bracket altogether. But for now, to save co initial cost. I'm just going to be booting everything off the old three and a half inch. So this is going to kind of start off kind of sluggish, but then it's just every every week or month, it's just going to go up and up. Um, so I have the power supply in here. I got a 600 watt. Not too much power, but it's not going to be starving for anything. My uh, CPU is kind of a little bit of a power, one of the more power hungry chips. So um, that plus if I get a, a beast GPU down the road, I'll be I'll be all set for that. So... I got the power supply, the motherboard, the case. I did get a mouse and keyboard, and um, it's going to be liquid cooled. I'm going to start off with 16 gigs of RAM and two eights, and then I'm going to get another two eights. So eventually, it's going to have 32 gigs of RAM, a terabyte of onboard hard drive, maybe a couple extra hard drives here. I don't really see myself needing that much, that much hard drive space, but who knows? It's always it's always good to have extra. So, yeah, this thing um, it's got a. Here's the side piece. Yeah, so, sorry, honey. I got a, I got a side piece. <laughs> it's really... I took it off because there's a crazy glare on it. But, uh, yeah, it's all clear. Uh, this thing lights up. The RAM... I may or may not get the light-up RAM. I think it's kind of cool, but, you know, I don't really need it to look like a fucking disco inside my computer. But then again, it is kind of cool looking, so I do want, you know, a little bit of light going on there so you can see what's going on. But you can, you can go balls out with the lighting and have LED strips everywhere... This will light up, the fans will light up, the RAM will light I mean, you can get lights on everything nowadays. I'm not going to go that crazy, but I am going to probably accent it with some lights in there. It does have, um, this motherboard does have a lighting control. Uh, I forget what it's, Aura or something like that. So it can control, you can synchronize all the lights. So it's not going to be all these crazy lights doing different shit. You can make them all red. You can make them all blue. You can make them all uh, change colors. So... That's where I'm going with that. Hopefully, um, the CPU and the RAM is going to be the biggest, biggest expense that I have left. And uh, once I get the CPU and the RAM and the cooler, uh, I'll be ready to turn it on. Um, I got a cheap mouse and keyboard. I'm going to run the damn thing off my TV for now until I get a nice 4K monitor. And uh, I'll need an SD card reader to add to it. Just uh, just some basic stuff, but it's like it's basically halfway there already. Um, Basically, what you're looking at here is a $200 motherboard. The power supply was like 60 bucks, and the case was like 60 or 70 bucks. And I think that's all I got. So it'll be there soon. Season three of uh, Mike's Tool Shed will be coming up. Um, also, the welder. I was playing with a welder for a little bit today, but uh, I learned two lessons. Um, well, one really. <laughs> the uh, GoPro hates g hates recording welding. It's uh, it was it just screwed with the, the 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 sensor in it so bad it was i tried to write something on a piece of plate steel you could barely tell what it was and the whole video was fucked up looking so um i don't really have anything i need to weld but i'm you know i'm gonna it's i gotta remember that i have a welder now and uh if something needs a welding you know it's gonna get welded so <laughs> i uh yeah i welded a wrench to a shovel that was pretty cool um, it fell off shortly after, <laughs> so that's it. The uh, computer's coming along. Probably won't be another update for this on this in a while. No more tech updates. Next video is going to be about tools for sure. I already have it planned out. So uh, yeah, that's what's going on right now. Thanks for watching.